So guys, hi. Um, last night I had a dream that there was darkness all around the world, and it was so dark. So I got up and I decided to pray for the world because the world was so dark and it was in darkness. And after a while, I started speaking in tongues. But I tried to go back to speaking in English, and I couldn't speak in English. When I said something in English, it just naturally changed into tongues. And the tongues was so much. Like, it was it was a different type of tongue. I had never spoken that type of tongue before. As, as you can see, I was crying. I'm going to explain why I was crying. So it was a different type of tongues I've, ever, I've never even spoken before. And it was crying. It felt like the tongues was crying, like, and I started crying, and the tongues was mourning, and the tongues was weeping. The tongue speaking to me was weeping, and I couldn't stop speaking. It was actually the Holy Spirit. I feel like this was the ground of the Holy Spirit. I wasn't actually speaking it myself, and I started crying, and I started mourning, and the Spirit of the Lord, even though I was conscious that I was crying, I was like, wait, why am I crying? I was like, what's going on? And I was like, damn, I'm speaking a different tongue, so why can't I speak, why can't I speak in English? Like, what's going on? And when I ended up, I started speaking English, it wasn't working out. So the Spirit of the Lord came over me, and he, he started, like, speaking to me. He said that, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Go tell my people that I'm coming back. I mourn for the world. I cry for the world. And he started crying so hard. I could feel the pain that he was crying with. He was crying so hard. He was like, go tell the world that I'm coming back, Joycey. So then I was like, wait, oh, Father, let me take the tablet. And write all the things I can say down. And write all the things that you want me to tell the world. So, I wrote all the stuff down. And I wrote it down on my tablet. And it said that, the Holy Spirit told me that, I am coming back with a great terror into the world. Who can stand that day and hour? Who can stand that moment? I mourn for the world. I cry for the world because even though they know me, even though they've heard about me, they have denied my power. I am a loving, but just God. I love my people, but I cannot stand around sin. I cannot be around sin. If I do not bring judgment on the world, that would make me a liar, and I would be denying my own self. Hear you that fornicate, you must fornicate no more. Hear you that practice homosexuality, you must practice them no more. Hear you that lie, you must lie no more. Hear you that sin, you must sin no more. Tell the world of how my spirit mourns for them. And I, I know I felt the feeling, like I knew that he was mourning. He was crying out loud. I felt the pain, I felt it out. And he was like, I mourn for them with all my heart because I love them, but they do not know me. What do that look home in the church? For the Lord do not show favoritism. I will do what I said I would do. I am neither man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should change my mind. I yearn to live with my holy ones, but let those that have ears hear what I have to say to the world. On that day, the world and everything in it will flee away from my sight. Who can stand that day? I am God, the holy God, the same God from the beginning. I am the beginning and the end. I could feel the pain when he was saying this. He wanted me to know that though he's loving, he's still God. And he wanted me to he wanted me to understand that he was still God and he's still the same God today. And he said, Hell is real and I am real. He said, Pick me this day and you would have life. He said, Without me, there will be no goodness in this world. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And he said, I have already done that. I paid the price myself so that you may have life. I gave my all to you. Why can't you give your all to me? He said, I died for you. Why can't you live for me? And he was like, I cried joyously. He was like, I cried. When he was saying this, I could feel the pain because I said, I cried too. He said, I cried joyously. And I was like, uh, and I started crying. And he was like, he said, like, on that day, mankind will regret ever denying me. But what can I do to help them? On that day, on that day, my grace will cease. Seek me now. When I can be found, take my yoke upon yourself and learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble in heart. Seek me and you will find me. The time is no longer near, but it is here. Haven't you seen the signs? How can you interpret when it is going to rain? And interpret the days it will dry, but cannot interpret the times of my coming. I am coming like a thief in the night. The day is here. It is no longer near. For I tell you, if Sodom and Gomorrah had the time to repent, they would have repented. 
The men of Nineveh will stand against this generation and condemn it on the day of judgment. For they even repented when the time of grace was not there. What are you waiting for? This is the time of salvation and repentance. I am crying. I am calling you into my presence and into my glorious inheritance. This world is temporary, but I am eternal. Stop denying my power and stop denying me. Believe in me and you would see me. I reveal myself to those that seek me. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one will come to the Father except through me. Your religion can save you. I am the only one that can save you from this corrupt and sinful generation. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and anyone that hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him. I give many warnings because I love you. I send people out here to tell you about me because I love you. No father hates his child. And he that loves his child disciplines his child. Let those that have ears hear. And he said, I am coming and do not be afraid to tell the world that he was telling me. He said, don't tell the world. He was like, I shouldn't worry about those that will listen or not. For I cannot change them. But the spirit himself will change them. He said, I shouldn't be dismayed and discouraged. And he said that. Oh my God. He said that I should tell those that love him that and those that and those that listen to him and practice his word that they shouldn't be dismayed for they will not be overtaken by the wrath that is to come. And that they should live right for him because he's coming back and he's going to take them up with his heaven. But he said to warn those that do not know him. And he said, Oh my god. He was crying so hard. I took he loves us so much. He loves us so much. And he, oh my God, he's going to cry so much. It just made me feel bad that the God that created us, the God that made us, this loving God, this great God that can just end life will be crying for us so much. I don't know why he loves us so much, but he does love us. He said that you, those that use the word, to justify your sins, that's way out of line. You can't say God is loving because we must also remember that he's also just. And him being loving and just, just didn't go together. So he was like, I'll just come down and pay the price myself. So that way, my love could overtake them so they could come to me. So they wouldn't be condemned by my just and righteous ways. Because I am holy. When he was saying, he was, when he was talking about end times, he was... He was really crying. He was talking about how that was before I started writing it down because he started saying a lot of stuff like that to write it down because it was too much. So it's about who can stand that day. He was like, no one will be able to stand that day. He was like, no one can run from him on that day for the earth will flee away from him. Like there'll be no more earth. And the whole world will see him. Everyone will see him. And he'll condemn those that did not listen to him, that didn't hear the word. So those that have ears. Please hear, please pray, please do me a favor and just pray. I can't change you. I, I don't know what to say to change you. I don't know what to say to let you understand what I'm saying. I don't know. Because you guys are in the world, you don't understand this stuff. But I beg of you to just pray and tell God that whatever choice he saw, whatever she heard from you, let me hear the same word. Reveal yourself to me. Because he said that whoever knocks at the door, he said that he knocks at the door and whoever opens him, he will come and live with them. So just open your heart and seek him. Please just seek him. I'm begging you to seek him because the time is no longer here. It's here. When he said it, he was so serious about it, but yet he was so sad about it. So just ask him. Please just ask him. I'm begging you. I could go down on my knees and beg all of you to just please, 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 in God's name, please do this. Not for me, oh Lord, but for yourselves because you need this. You need this eternity because it's really coming back. <laughs> it's really coming back. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs>